How do you know that you won't be Esau'd by God? That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app. It's available on all platforms and donate. A tax deductible gift to Higher Things, link in the description, keeps us putting the gospel in the ears of, church, of our church's youth. And those kids, our kids, your kids, need that gospel. They need it today. Give today. So Esau sold his birthright. He despised who he was. And I had a question from a young person. How do I know I'm not Esau? How do I know that I haven't, I haven't sold my birthright? How do I know that God hasn't closed the door in his relationship with me? That's a good question. And it's something that we all sort of deal with in this life where we look at our sins and we look at what we've done and how we've lived and, and, and the things that we struggle with and lose. And we think to ourselves, is this the time in which God doesn't repent me? And we try and we try and we try to live a life worthy of the calling of our, that we've received. But the more that we live in this life, the more we see that we are utter and completely fallen on our face. So how do I know that God's not going to Esau me? How do I know that I haven't sold my birthright? Well, first off, you're not Esau. Esau's Esau, and Esau's responsible for his own actions. You are the baptized. You are those into whom he has put his body and blood. You stand before God forgiven. No matter what sin that you've struggled with and failed, no matter where you have fallen on your face, no matter how much your robes are covered in mud and the blood of those that you've victimized, Christ, he took on your flesh and he died. And he's calling you out of your sin. Even in your question is him calling you out of your sins, saying, you are repented because I love you. You are brought back to faith because I'm faithful to my promise. And where you are unfaithful, God is faithful. Where you fall, he picks you up. And where you've stained your sins in filth and in and your own mess, he looks at you and he says, I got this. And he washes your, blood, your sins with his blood. He washes your robes and he makes them clean. So the question is not whether or not you're going to fall away, but is God faithful? The question is not whether you have enough gusto to make it to the end. It's whether or not Jesus died for you and rose for you. And it's not, it's not a question about whether you're sorry enough, but whether he took on your sorry and died for it. Your sins are forgiven for he was crucified for your sins, but he was raised for your forgiveness before God. And so the answer to your question is Christ died for Esau and he died for you too. And as surely as he died and rose again, and lives now at the right hand of God, he will carry you through this life and he, you will stand before God on the last day forgiven as surely as Jesus lives. So don't let your heart be troubled. Don't listen to the devil tell you that you're, you're not sorry. God has saved you. God has forgiven you. And your birthright doesn't depend upon you. If we learn anything from, from Esau is that it can't depend upon us. It has to rest on Jesus on our baptism, on the word, and on the body and blood. Only Jesus saves. Only Jesus saves. Even you and me. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.